Can everyone hear me? Yep. Perfect. I'm gonna, I've, I haven't spoken on something this large before, so it's going to be a little bit awkward for me. Um, so please bear with me. Um, all right, so I'm going to get started. Cool. So I grew up in a household that loved books. Um, we went to our, this was uh, the library by my house in San Diego, um, but we would go twice a week, um, every single week growing up. Um, it was always Monday afternoons between school and piano classes and Saturday afternoons after our weekly um, Costco trips. And um, this was a place that I just loved and adored. We were only allowed to rent up to 20 books at a time and I would always use every single slot. Um, like many immigrant families, my parents were very big on education. Uh, my mom was actually a history professor in China. My grandmother was a language professor. My grandfather was a high school basketball coach. And my dad did not teach, but he was really big on giving me at-home homework. So there was a lot of education happening, and what that really led to was me being just extremely passionate about learning about the world around me. So that's what I'm here to talk about today. So hi, everyone. I am Lucy. Um, as Joe mentioned, I'm a lead product manager at Exigy. We design and build technology products for social good. We primarily focus with um, companies in the health and civic space. Uh, my loves are, as mentioned, books, music, uh, design, and I truly enjoy telling stories. So we're going to start this story uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, August 2018, um, with something around renewal. This was a time um, where I had actually just joined Exigy. I'd come um, out of a few years in management consulting, was feeling a little bit burnt out, and I really wanted to rediscover my passion for life. So I decided to reimmerse myself into education. Um, I took my first two classes at the City College of San Francisco, which is free for San Francisco residents, and I wanted to do something really meaningful. So I signed up for art, and I signed up for golf, um, because where else am I going to get free golf classes? But actually, the reasons for this was because um, back in high school, I had taken golf uh, in summer classes and camps. I had really wanted to push forward on that, but I was too scared to try out for uh, my high school team. So that skill kind of dwindled away. Um, with art, when I was younger, I really wanted to be an architect. I loved just buildings and spaces and thinking about how people move through them. Uh, I never took a drawing class, so that dream was also put off to the side. So these classes were really a way for me to almost close the loop with myself. And it was a great reminder that it's never too late to pick up a new skill, even if it's 10 plus years later. So come to January, um, I decide to continue taking my classes. This time, I really want to make sure that's something I'm passionate about. Uh, after a while, the art classes, I'll tell you, got very tedious. Um, it was maybe 15 hours a week outside of work, uh, which was challenging to keep up if it's something that you're not really, really uh, dedicated to. And so I decided to do something that I'm very passionate about, which is fashion. Um, I took a class in fashion forecasting, um, and through that class, it was really focused on just observing the world around you. How do people think? What do they want to do? What are they interested in? Where do they spend their time? And how does that then translate into the clothes that they choose to wear? Uh, this was actually the showcase um, for that particular class, um, my prediction for fashion in spring 2020. So take a look. Hopefully, we see that next year. Um, if not, it's not mine. Um, so come May 2019, uh, I now want to really be vulnerable. I've you know, done the whole self-actualization bit, um, but I'm curious about exploring an area that I've always been comfortable with, which is being in front of people, being vulnerable in front of others. So I decided to take a class in singing. And I am so excited for this class. You know, I have seen Glee. Um, it's going to be really exciting. I'm going to learn how to sing with a bunch of people. I'm going to build a community. Um, so the first day of class, I go sit in the front first row, and I am ready to go. On the first day of class, 
I get called up to the front and asked to sing. There is nothing more vulnerable than learning what your vocal range is in front of a room of strangers. <laughs> um, but the funny thing is that we had to do this every single week. And each week, it got easier and easier, and the terror slowly subsided. Really seeing vulnerability as an opportunity for learning is something that, I, that was truly transformative. And I highly recommend that each of you think about what really scares you the most and just throw yourself into it. So at this point, I'm a little bit tired about le of learning in a classroom environment. And rather than learning from an expert, I am really interested in learning from others, the people around me. I'm interested in developing a community of my own. I joined a um, fellowship called Violet Society. Um, every, every few months, they pick uh, 15 highly ambitious women in the product space. And I spend each week coming to meet with these women. We talk about the challenges that we face at work. We talk about our fears. We talk about our aspirations. And we learn through each other. And this was a really great way then to remember how to really learn outside of a classroom and more learning by regularly committing and growing the relationships around you. So what's next for me um, is 2020. My word for 2020 is continuity, taking the lessons that I've learned and progressing them forward. I am continuing with my classes. I've actually decided to go back to voice. Um, so maybe you'll see me out on the radio sometime. <laughs> Not really. Um, and I'm really interested in kind of pushing forward with the communities that I've developed. So that leads to, why does this matter? What I want to leave you with is this thought. If you think back to the last time that you learned something new, how did that feel? Maybe it's that feeling in your chest. It's that little spark of excitement. When you think about learning something new or experiencing something for the first time, it's something that's truly magical. It stands out in your everyday life. And the reason it does that is because it reminds you that the world is bigger than your to-do list that we look at every single day. So I want you guys to leave here with a feeling of excitement, hopefully a feeling of inspiration to learn something new. Because at the end of the day, we are always going to be learning through our lives, and we may as well be intentional about it. Thank you.